Hi, I'm Admiral Bob Papp, Commandant of the United States Coast Guard. Maritime Homeland Security begins with local knowledge. That's why I'm pleased to tell you about America's Waterway Watch, a program that allows you to make our waterways safer and more secure. If you see unusual or suspicious activity on or near our waters, report it to America's Waterway Watch immediately. Doing so will allow the Coast Guard and its federal, state, and local law enforcement partners to promptly respond. Your local knowledge is critical to identifying and reporting indicators of crime, terrorism, or other threats. Thank you for doing your part to keep our waterways and homeland safe and secure. Those guys have been moored under the bridge forever. What are they doing? Good question. You're on the right track. Huh. That's a very strange place for sightseeing. Stop. Hold that thought. That's nuts. Why would anybody be diving there? Glad you asked. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Congratulations, and thank you from the U.S. Coast Guard. You've just become a part of America's Waterway Watch. By simply paying attention to unusual activity in or around the water, you can make a real difference in America's homeland security. Hello. I'm at the bridge, and I don't know if this means anything. But there's a boat that's been anchored under the center span for at least an hour. You have two men with cameras and binoculars. Yeah, Coast Guard, I'm over here by uh, marker number six, uh, the entrance to the intake for the power plant. I see two divers in the water that look kind of suspicious to me. Uh, you might want to send somebody over here to take a look. Nicely done. That's all there is to America's Waterway Watch. Think of it this way, America has more than 95,000 miles of shoreline and nearly 300,000 square miles of waterways, lakes, rivers, and bays. Though the Coast Guard and local first responders are doing a great job, they can't hope to cover all that area alone. Through America's Waterway Watch, we're asking all Americans who work, live, or recreate on or near the water to be just a little more aware of activities that might indicate possible terrorist threats. After all, you know better than anyone what kind of activities belong and don't belong around your port, dock, marina, riverside, beach, or community. I don't want to bother the Coast Guard or the police with nothing. Give me a better idea of what you mean by suspicious activity. Trust your instincts. Sometimes it's just a funny feeling that something's not right. But here are some specifics. The most likely targets for terrorist activity are bridges, tunnels, and overpasses. Concerns like ports, fuel docks, marinas, and cruise ships. Industrial facilities like power, oil, or chemical plants, and water intakes. Military bases and vessels, other government facilities, or security zones. Watch for people who appear to be engaged in surveillance of potential targets like these. For example, taking notes, shooting video or photos, making sketches, or asking a lot of questions. Watch for activities that just aren't typical, such as unusual night operations, diving, fishing, hunting, anchoring, or even passing through a place where it makes no sense. Unattended vessels or vehicles or those with a large number of people on board, lights flashing between boats, or people recovering or tossing items into the water or onto the shoreline. Pay attention if you notice missing fencing or lighting around sensitive areas. Notice people establishing businesses or roadside food stands around these facilities, or flying private aircrafts around them. And think twice if you encounter someone trying to buy or rent fishing or recreational vessels with cash for short-term, undefined purposes. When should I try to intervene? Never approach or challenge someone acting in a suspicious manner. Record the time and location. Note any details. 
then immediately call law enforcement at 911 or the National Response Center's terrorist hotline toll free, 877-24-WATCH. If you witness suspicious activity around the water. What else can boaters do for America's Waterway Watch? Secure and lock your boat when you're not on board. Take the keys so no one can use it. When you store or trailer your boat, make sure the engine is disabled and the boat is not easily moved. A few simple steps and a little more awareness from Americans who work, live, and play on or near the water may be all we need to prevent terrorist sabotage and save lives. Participate in America's Waterway Watch. Help keep our waterways safe and secure. Call 911 or the National Response Center's terrorist hotline toll free. 877-24-WATCH. If you witness suspicious activity around the water, on behalf of the U.S. Coast Guard and your local law enforcement personnel, thanks for being a part of America's Waterway Watch.